Good morning. It is currently half past five in the morning on Friday and I am up and ready very early because this morning I am heading to the airport. I'm very excited today because I'm going to be heading up to Scotland for a long weekend. So I'm going up Friday to Monday. I have got a lot of stuff happening this weekend. I am so excited to do this and to make a vlog out of it. I absolutely love making this kind of travel content so I really hope you enjoy it. So excited for what's going to be happening. I've got lots of stuff planned that I will tell you about properly when I get to Scotland because right now I, I do have to leave for the airport. But just as a quick idea, I am basically going to be getting the plane up to Edinburgh, driving along a bit to pick up a certain somebody. Who could it be? Then I will be driving past Loch Lomond and getting a ferry to the Isle of Mull where I will be staying with the person that I'm picking up who could it be for the long weekend? There will be activities and things happening, there will be sightseeing. This is all also revolving around a book that I will be telling you about when I get to Scotland. So excited for all of it. This whole trip has been very, very kindly arranged by Visit Scotland, so I will leave all the details linked down below for them. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. So I need to get to the airport now, but of course, yeah, I'm going to take you along with me. It's going to be a four day weekend vlog. There will be reading updates within this as well. I'm just going to try and film as much as possible. So I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, it's some time has passed since the flight. I got caught in torrential rain. It is, it is raining again, but we are in Scotland. I had pretty good flight, all was good. I read my book, it was a good time. And I have now picked somebody up that will be joining me on this journey. You may well have guessed if, if you follow my content at all, that if I was coming to Scotland, I may pick up this girl. Hello! Lauren from Fiction Tea! Good to see you. Yay! Okay. We are both going to be going on this Visit Scotland adventure. We are going to be driving now eventually to the Isle of Mull, so the ferry to get us to the Isle of Mull, but we're going to go via Loch Lomond to, where was it? Luss? Uh, Luss and potentially Frickin Point. Um, okay. One of them. Okay, so we're going to go there. It is very ra rainy at the moment, but like, hopefully it will still look stunning. I'm excited to see more of the Scottish Highlands and just how it will look, because I when I came before, we just did Glasgow and Edinburgh, so I didn't really see that the other sides of Scotland, whereas now we have a car, we can go anywhere. Yeah. Well, we can't. We, we have places to go, but yeah. Lauren's going to be here Hi. the whole weekend. So lucky, lucky you. It's going to be a fun time, but if you want to check Lauren out, she is fiction tea. I'll try to remember to leave her stuff down below, but it's going to be really good fun. I'm excited. Hopefully this is a fun vlog. We're going to crack on with our journey now. I like the way that the sausage rolls are casually photobombing. It's going to head off now. We will catch up with you when we are at Loch Lomond. <laughs> we made it to Loch Lomond. Oh, sorry, I blocked you. <laughs> the it's lock. The lock. Lock. I feel like I'm saying Loch Lomond. Is that right? Or am I meant to say Loch Lomond? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. Incredibly, incredibly vast. Nessie! Sorry, I whacked you. <laughs> Where are you? Very, very pretty.
we've made it to the hotel. It has been a very, very long day of traveling, but we've just got back from having dinner at the hotel restaurant, which was absolutely delicious. The hotel is really, really lovely. It's kind of castle-esque in design. I haven't really obviously been able to see too many aspects of it yet because we have arrived at night time, so it's all very dark, but the room is really nice. The food is really lovely. I'm excited to sit in the daylight tomorrow and just generally see more of the island in the daylight because pretty much the whole time we've been on this island, it was pretty much getting dark when we got over here on the ferry. We've got a big day of plans tomorrow. I will tell you all about it properly in the morning, as well as the book that I want to tell you about for this vlog. But I'm so tired right now that I just wanted to check in and say, we have arrived, we are here. It was all good, lovely journey going via Loch Lomond and just seeing some of the Scottish Highlands, absolutely stunning, so autumnal, like all the colours are coming out, just so many vast area, areas of nature, just beautiful. So I'm now gonna get ready for bed, put my pajamas on and get all comfy and cozy because I need to just rest for a little bit before tomorrow kicks off. So yeah, I will properly go through some more stuff with you tomorrow and what the plan is for the rest of the weekend. Right now, I need to sleep. Good morning. It is our first full day in Mull today. It is Saturday and I actually now have time to tell you a little bit more about this trip, about the book that I'm going to be reading whilst we are here, and just generally properly introduce the blog even though we are one day into this. So we are shortly going to be heading for breakfast and then we are driving to another ferry port to get a ferry to the island called Iona where we are going to be spending the whole day today with the travelling bookbinder who is going to be taking us on one of their courses. I will leave details for all of this like in the description everything we're doing but that's gonna be really really good so that's our plan today but I have a little bit of time to update you before we go. So obviously I've said that Visit Scotland have arranged this whole trip and that is so exciting to be working with Visit Scotland like to be able to do more travel content and just work with them is, is so 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 cool so really really buzzing about that. This trip also centres around a very specific book that I'm currently reading as well. So that book is The Last Girl to Die by Helen Field. This is a detective mystery book set on the Isle of Mull. Reading this whilst being here is so cool. I, I am so excited to be able to see all the locations in this book. I have been reading it over the last few days because I wanted to read it a bit whilst I was here but also a bit before we came just because I knew how busy we were going to be and I didn't want to run out of time to read it so I'm already fairly familiar with some of the locations that I know we're going to go visit. That's what we're doing tomorrow, we're going to the locations in this book which is really exciting but this book follows a family whose daughter has gone missing so they hire a private detective to come to the Isle of Mull to try and find out what's happened to their daughter and then they realise that there's actually a potential serial killer on the island so they have to try and figure out who that is before they kill more people. I'm really enjoying it. I, as I said, I'm very near the end so I really want to know where it's going. There's actually elements of the study of witchcraft mixed in with this as well which I wasn't expecting so that's really cool to see. I'm just excited to go see every bit on the island that is mentioned in this. There's a couple of things like the caves, some of the shops and pubs that's inspired the pub in this book, which is really cool. So tomorrow, that's what we're doing. But as I said, today we are heading to Iona. We're going to meet the traveling bookbinder and doing one of their courses, which is gonna be so, so cool. I think it's called Map Love, the course that we're doing, which I'm already really, really excited about because it's gonna integrate that travel element into things as well. So of course I will be filming all of that. Tomorrow, as I said, going to locations from the book. So we are going to try and go to as many as possible. Obviously, there are only a certain amount of hours in the day and I know that we've we've got a really busy weekend, but I wanna try and get in as much as possible. So we're gonna try and go to the cave that's mentioned at the start of this book, which I'm quite excited for. I think I said there's a pub that is the inspiration for the pub in this book. There's a couple of other places that are like gonna be walk routes kind of things that we're gonna try and go to, try and fit as much in as possible. We're also going to go to the bookshop on the island and do a little bit of book shopping because of course we have to visit the, the indie bookshop on the island. That's gonna be really good fun as well. We will definitely be buying things in the bookshop tomorrow. And then on Monday, we have a little bit of time in the morning and then we basically have to start making our journey back because we have to get the ferry back to the mainland and then drive back to Glasgow and then I fly back from Glasgow. So 
It's a very busy weekend, but I'm so excited for all of it. I'm gonna go grab breakfast now, and then we are gonna set off. We have just under a two hour drive to get to the ferry to go to meet the traveling book binder today. So we're pretty much driving the whole length of the island, but it's gonna be absolutely stunning to see it in the daylight because we saw it last night. Obviously complete darkness, very windy country roads. So to see it in the daylight today is gonna give it a whole new light because we were trying to like pinpoint things and work out where we were. But yeah, it was, it was a bit tricky. There is a castle as well that we might try and get to. It very much depends on how tomorrow goes, like how many different things we can fit in and what kind of routes we can take. But there is a castle that looked pretty impressive as we came in on the ferry. So lots to do. I really hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. But today and tomorrow is really where the real stuff that we're doing starts happening. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Also in this whole vlog, please don't expect me to look like anything but a drown wrap because I think it's gonna be on and off raining all weekend. So. I'm just gonna kind of accept that that is my fate this weekend. Hey Lauren. Hey, this is this is the outfit of the day. I've got walking boots, jeans, a jumper, and a little little shirt collar over the side of it. So this is this is the look. For breakfast we go. Hi, the start of the rain begins. It's a good look. It's a good look. Exactly. Yeah, I also, why did, like, I mean, I get that hoods are like this to stop the rain getting in, but it's like. Apparently it's to stop the vision getting out. As well. Yeah, yeah, we're driving. We've got about two, nearly two hour drive to the ferry port. And then we are going to be in Iona. into the side of the road to take photos of the beautiful Scottish landscape. there, Lauren. Looking for my lobster. <laughs> He's a lobster. We're, we're, kind of, we're not rock pooling, but you know, we're, we're looking around the, the rock pools. We're on Iona. It's very, very beautiful here. And actually it stopped raining, which is really nice. Oh, so, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a very small little island and we've got the ferry over, which is by the beach. And then we're gonna go do some foot binding. Wow. I'm gonna get stuck now or put my foot in a puddle.
and there's just casually Highland cows in the road. What are we doing? We're standing on the side of the road taking pictures, like the tourists we are. But look at the views. It's super zoomed in, but it's super pretty. Oh, that's nice. Everyone already liked that. I'm glad. Do you do TikTok dances? Do you do, oh, can you floss? A one and a two. That's not floss, that's a <laughs> macarena. That's very thoroughly disappointing. <laughs> Well, that's... <laughs> I can't do that. You've disappointed everybody. You've disappointed yourself. You've let TikTok dances down. If I was here to please down. people, I would have made a YouTube channel. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> We're actually just here to shoot an advert for our car. <laughs> yes. This is the... What actually is it? A Renault? Renault. <laughs> Well, a jar. A Renault Kajar. Ooh, doesn't it look very scenic? Not that you can see, because that is focusing on me, but... Oh, it's so scenic. <laughs> there it is for size reference. Okay, finding a good place to film in this room is not a thing. So hi, we are back from our Saturday adventures. We've had such a nice day. We're about to go out for dinner at a place called Cafe Fish, which I'm very, very excited about. So we've had a really busy day today. We obviously updated you in the morning, but we got up, went for breakfast, and then we drove to a ferry port that was gonna take us to the island of Iona, which is a very small island with a really lovely close-knit community feel, which just felt so, so nice there. And there we met Rachel from the Travelling Bookbinder who taught us how to bind some books. So this is the book that I bound. We have made tiny little notepad slash sketch pads here. And I just, I love how much fun this was. I love how mindful and calming it was. And I just really like how it turned out. So we got told, I don't know if the lighting is so bad in it. I don't know if you can see, but we got told to basically try and create art with our words and write down words that we had kind of experience for, for the day or for the trip so far. So I don't know if you can tell, but I've tried to like make tree shaped things. We have a rainbow, we have the sun and rain and just, yeah, a couple of different things from the day. So that's, that was kind of my take on, on the notepad. And I really like how it turned out. It was really, really good fun to be able to make this and to be able to take part in this workshop. We also received one each of this beautiful book. This is Bound and this is written by Rachel, the traveling bookbinder, and it's 15 beautiful bookbinding projects. So it basically teaches you how to do the bookbinding yourself. I will definitely be attempting to do this again. I, I think it was just really lovely and a really nice activity. And it was just such a lovely island. The weather was just right. It just felt really, really gorgeous. We definitely stopped quite a few times on the way there and the way back because everything was just absolutely stunning. At one point, which I think I managed to film, a stag walked in front of the car, which was amazing. There were Highland cows just walking around in the road, which was so cool. Like just everything, just so, so stunning. The Highlands are absolutely beautiful. Right, gonna go grab food now, but I have linked everything about the Traveling Bookbinder down below if you are interested. Such, such lovely courses. Rachel was absolutely lovely and it was just so much fun. The course that we did was called Map Love and just, I can't recommend it enough. It was absolutely beautiful. I think I'll probably be able to talk fully about these things like 
as a little wrap up at the end of this video but like we've got so much happening at the moment that I feel like I'm just trying to give little updates when I can so at the end of this video I'll kind of look back on the whole thing but this is just just a short update now. Sunday. Today is our exploring day. We get to go around more of Mole today, stop off in a couple of towns. It's going to be really good. We're heading to a bookshop. We are also going to be going to some of the locations in The Last Girl to Die by Helen Fields. I literally just finished this book about five or ten minutes ago. I gave it four out of five stars. I really liked it. It's a crime thriller set here on Mull. It's gonna be really really cool to go to the locations in this book and see what I've just been reading about. One of the places we're going is McKinnon's Cave which is where a body is found in this book. So that's gonna be quite an interesting place to see. The weather at the moment, I'm literally sat right in front the window now if you can hear any sort of wind. It's very very windy and it's not yet raining. It's been really on and off rain and then just pure sunlight here all weekend so hopefully it continues to be somewhat sunny. I mean, I don't mind too much either way, to be honest, as long as we can have a good time and just be able to see all these locations. We have raincoats, so it's all good, but it's just been such a nice trip so far. I'm really, really pleased we get to go to these locations and be able to visit a bookshop here as well. We're going to, I think it's called Tackle Books. I have my, my itinerary printed out. Yeah, the bookshop's called Tackle and Books. So I'm really excited to go to that bookshop and see what that looks like here. It's, it's in Tobamori, which is the the village town we are staying in so we just get to like walk down from our hotel which is the western isles hotel i don't know if i've said that either but like this is the first time i feel like i'm properly together to be able to give you an update because i'm not rushing about i i don't feel like i look completely windswept today either although it's very windy outside so i'm about to be very windswept but yeah it's it's just kind of been such a busy time that I'm sorry if my updates have seemed really scatty along the way as well. Still very much living on the high of how lovely yesterday was as well, doing the book binding course, the traveling book binder was so so nice and I think that's a skill I would really like to try and learn and perfect because it was something that I thought you had to have a lot of equipment for and I know that there are some types of book binding where that is the case but this one you pretty much just need like a specific type of needle and some kind of waxed thread and then the paper to be able to do it and, and that's all. So yeah, it was definitely something that I thought would be way more elaborate to do than it was. I thought it would take ages and I thought it would need loads of equipment and it was just really mindful and really calming. So I definitely want to give that a go. And I think Rachel's book is going to be very helpful for that. I think I already said that everything about that will be linked down below, but that was really good fun. It's something that I, never thought about doing and I'm now really glad that I have done and would like to do again and also seeing the island the island of Iona was just beautiful the beaches were absolutely gorgeous the sand was just like the perfect kind of sand it wasn't the kind of like loose annoying sand that gets everywhere it was just really pretty. I don't need to talk to you about the merits of sand but it was very very pretty. Also today, referencing my itinerary, we are going to Calgary Bay, then we are going to a town called Salem where we're having lunch at somewhere called the Coffee Pot and then after that is, is visiting the cave and then we have dinner at a pub tonight. Dinner last night was good too, we, we had lobster, it was so good. We went to this really lovely fresh seafood restaurant that's right down the bottom of our hotel and it was just it was beautiful. It was very, very, very nice. Oh, and this morning, as well as visiting the bookshop, we are also going to Tobermory Bakery, which I won't complain about. And we're also gonna see a pub called The Mishnish, which is a great name and is apparently an inspiration for the pub in this book. So I'm intrigued to see that. It's interesting when you go to visit places that are in a book, because obviously I have such strong images in my head from reading this, that I'm sure will completely fall out of my head as soon as I see what they actually look like. So I'm kind of glad I have finished it now because I can kind of retain those images in my head. 
but it will be interesting to see what those places actually look like. So of course I will be bringing you along with me, but if you would like a good crime thriller to read with a Scottish setting, then this one is definitely really good. It also has some other elements that I won't spoil, but it had some surprising elements that I didn't expect it to have that I really, really liked as well. So this was really good. Itinerary in hand, let's go and explore Mull. Okay, so as I said, it's a bit windy out, but I wanted to bring you out here to show you the view that we have from this absolutely stunning hotel and also show you a little bit more of the hotel. So it's a bit difficult because I'm stood quite close to it, but this hotel is absolutely beautiful and these are the views. It's gorgeous. That is the beautiful fish restaurant that we ate at last night. I mean, waking up to this every day is quite something. And then there is Tobawari, which is where we're going shortly before we head over to the other places that I told you about. So it's going to be a really good day. It's very windy. I'm sorry if you can barely hear me. Hang on, can I see a bit more of Tobamori? Let's go around here. If anyone used to watch Balamori as a kid, it's this place. So yeah, that's where we're going down to soon. And then we're heading farther afield, but I just, oh, I love this view. So this pub is the Mishnish, which is the pub that inspires the pub in the book. Well, we made it to Calgary Bay. Hey. Oh, that rhymed. And it is absolutely <laughs> pissing it down with rain. So I don't think we're like the biggest fans of getting out the car at the moment. And that road was not kind to my stomach. Yeah, Lauren's not feeling great. It was a very, very bumpy road getting here. But I mean, we'll tr we'll see, we'll try. It's, it's really heavy rain. We have raincoats. Oh my God, look at that poor person trying to get out of the car. That wasn't fun. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're gonna try getting out the car. <laughs> Are you Don't speak. You ready? No. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Let's do this. Mm, it's so nice. mentioned in the book. I, I don't think we're going to go all the way down because it is very rainy, but that's the beach. We made it. Hello. Hello. We come to you from the car once again. I feel like we've done a lot of car updates today. I don't even know when we last spoke to you. Was it when we are at Calgary Bay? Yes. So, our plans have slightly changed for the day. Basically, this morning we went into Tobermory and we were meant to go to the bookshop. The bookshop was not open. It did say it was meant to be on the door, but it, it wasn't open. So we're going to try and go back tomorrow morning before we go to the ferry. So then we went to Calgary Bay, which was on our planned list. Bit wet, as you will have seen. <laughs> I can't even explain the like. The rain started the moment we got out of the car. It was. I mean, it was raining the whole way, but it got really heavy. It, like it started like the moment we got out of the car in Tobermory. Oh, in Tobermory, yeah. 
It has yeah. not let up, not once. Yeah, yeah. Since we've been in Tobermory, it's pretty much been consistently raining, which is fine. It's atmospheric, but it's a little bit difficult, and all the stuff is outside. So yeah, we did Calgary Bay, and then we were driving to Salem, which we keep wanting to say Salem. <laughs> For, but Salem, where we were meant to go to the coffee pot. However, that also was, was not open. Spoiler! So we went to a really lovely cafe instead. That I've now completely forgotten the name of again. The Bespoke... The Bespoke... The Little Bakery. The Bespoke Little Bakery. Is that it? Oh, wait. The, the Little Bespoke Bakery. The Little Bespoke Bakery. Oh, my gosh. It was so lovely. It was... Oh, the aesthetic vibes were just on point. Immaculate. Really nice food. Really, really lovely stuff. So that was really nice. We were then meant to go to... McKinnon's Cave, which is the cave mentioned in the book. Now, I was quite looking forward to this one because it's, that? Yeah, it's mentioned quite a few times in the book. I thought it would be really cool to see it. However, we were speaking to the, the people in the cafe about this and the cave, apparently you park up and then it's a two hour ish walk to the cave from the car park. And generally like you need proper walking gear for it. And whilst we have walking shoes and waterproof coats, we're not really kitted out for like a proper proper walk and i'm only in this small weather. like i'm gonna get blown away with my poppins <laughs> it's so so windy and rainy so we the people in the cafe basically said just don't even attempt it like it's it's not gonna be good and i think we also didn't realize it would take that long so i don't think we had time to do that necessarily said, yeah like it said on our like schedule like a challenging walk and i was like what no, it's leaving like a challenging walk a two hour hike yeah so each way <laughs> as well so i don't think we had time for that basically in the end so instead of doing that, we have decided to come to Druitt. Is it pronounced Druitt? I say Dewar. Dewart. Dewar. Dewar. I've said it completely wrong. Dewart. Dewart. Dewart Castle, which can you even like Yeah, like that there is there. I'm trying to show you in the back, but it's just zoomed in my face. It is through there. So it's still really, really raining. I really hope you can all hear this properly. It's still really, really raining, but we have come to this castle instead. So we're gonna see what we can make of this. Let's give this go! We're pretty much just going to be drying rats, but this is the last thing. I think we're going to, maybe if we get back in time, see if the bookshop is open later today. But if not, go tomorrow morning. But essentially, this is us from now until dinner now. So it just, It's so misleading because it says on the door, it's open today. It does say it's open. So we were like, we walked around the whole town and then we came back again. And it was still shut. It literally says it's open. So I'm like, well, I want to go into the bookshop. But what do we tomorrow it will be. It's just that we don't have as much time tomorrow because we've got to get the ferry back but it's just such a shame that it's like literally relentless rain because on friday when we were driving up here it was very on and off like it would be torrential and then it would be really sunny so it's kind of a mix whereas this is unrelenting yesterday was lovely. yeah yesterday was really nice i do have some very sexy waterproof trousers i think lauren would have really appreciated but i chose not to bring them with me and now i don't know why i chose that it's but a silly choice. Yeah, it was a silly choice because now i'm in jeans which obviously are the perfect foot uh, trouser wear for this this weather so let's give this a go we should do it before and after so this is what we look like before remembrance what we look like the now and we will check in <laughs> oh. maybe we, i don't know will we survive i don't know i may get blown off into the freaking atlantic it's literally ocean. like <laughs> the edge of, of the, the island is right there so it's so weird. the car is moving with how windy okay right we're just putting it off yeah we're putting right. it off Let's go to the castle. It's up. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready. <laughs> We're so ready to go. Let's just look. How do you feel? I feel really good. I like that I can't really move my mouth. <laughs> That's a good feature of the coat. <laughs> Here though, this is good. This this means it doesn't drift. I don't much. have one of these. Yeah, see, you look. Yes. I don't have one of these. I feel so hot right now. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. Oh, there's so many layers going on under this. I feel like I can't move. I've got like so many. I can't even breathe. This is ridiculous. And I've got like four jumper layers. Okay, let's do it. Uh, do you know what I feel like? I feel like a trash bag because I've, I've got a black jacket on. <laughs> Our legs are going to get so wet anyway. <laughs> They're both in jeans. Oh. oh my god. Okay, let's do this. It's like, can we skip to the good part? The TikTok? Can, can we, we skip, skip to, to the, the good, good part? part? <laughs> there isn't one because it's wet. Oh. Aaron, how you doing? Castle at the information board. We must find out things. Oh no! 
Okay, let's find out about the castle. It's part of a chain of castles. Like Starbucks. Starbucks of castles. Yeah! It's been here since then, maybe. 1350. Yeah. There's a tea room in this shop. Sometimes people say to me, Beth, how do you dress so good? And I like to say to them, you just have to have confidence in your own level of sexiness. And I put a cover in your eyes. <laughs> so you don't see the people staring at you in water. I, I like to credit my hood because my hair stayed wet up until I fell out of my door and then the left <laughs> the right side of my hair sorry just did that so to be fair the coats were good my trousers are literally soaked through you uh, yeah you're just dripping <laughs> so that was good successful can we go back to the hotel now <laughs> that was a lot of fun a lot of laughs it was definitely very wet and windy but it was really good fun so we've just come back to our rooms and just getting changed and sorted a little bit into warmer and not wet clothes <laughs> then we're gonna head up to the foyer lounge area in our hotel where we're just gonna sit and read and draw for a little bit and just have a nice chill there's a really cute dog upstairs as well that was sat with us for a little bit because we were sat in front of the fire when we got back because we were really cold and the dog's so cute so i'm hoping that she's still up there but yeah we're just gonna chill for a little bit because we had a little bit of time have a little bit of time now in between now and going for dinner so we're just gonna have a little bit of a nice sit and chill and just enjoy the hotel because it's such a lovely hotel so that's our plan for the rest of the day
today is our last day. I have to say goodbye to this lovely hotel. This vlog has just been me finding decent lighting to film it. This is like the worst angle of like leaning over to be able to rest on this windowsill. But hi, it is, it is currently Sunday. No, it's Monday, it's Monday. It's our final day on the island. We are heading back to the ferry this morning. We have quite a long day of travel ahead of us. We set off for breakfast soon and then we will be checking out. Oh my God, there's a robin right outside my window. Hello. Hang on, let me try and get it. Okay, that was a fair little move, but that was a nice moment. Anyway, we are, what, did, what was I saying? We're heading off for breakfast soon. Then we're gonna check out. Then we're gonna try and go to Tackle and Books, which is the bookshop in town. We tried to go yesterday, but it was closed. It did say it was meant to be open yesterday and today. So hopefully it is open, but we have about 15 minutes where we're able to go there before we have to then head back to get our ferry. So hopefully, we can do that. That would be really, really nice to do. Then we are going to drive back to the ferry port, which is about a 45 minute journey from the hotel. Then we get on the ferry. Then we drive from Oban ferry port back to Glasgow airport. Then I fly home and then I drive home from the airport. So I don't think I'm going to be getting home much beyond 8 p.m. and it is currently 8 16 a.m. So it's going to be quite a long day, but I have had such a good time here. I'm excited to see more of the, the Scottish scenery on the drive back. It's stunning to be able to be driving through these roads and seeing these absolutely gorgeous, sublime sights the hillsides, the trees, the colours, the locks. It's just absolutely beautiful. I've had such a lovely time. This hotel, Western Isles Hotel, has been a dream. The staff are so nice. There's fireplaces, which is so cozy. There's cozy reading spots. The food is lovely. The rooms are lovely. It's kind of like a castle in terms of architectural design. It's just really beautiful. It's on the edge of the island and it looks over to this stunning view, which I've of course included already, but that's the beautiful view. It's just so pretty. So yeah, we've, we've had a lovely time here the whole trip has been amazing. Visit Scotland have done a really good job of putting this all together for us and showing us different parts of the island and the culture. It's gonna be sad to leave. I'm really happy it happened though. And yeah, we have a long journey ahead of us. So I hope you're ready to join us for the final leg of this trip and I hope you've enjoyed the vlog so far. Bye bye. Hello, I am back in my flat. I am back in England. It was a very, very long day of traveling yesterday, so I didn't wanna wrap up this vlog yesterday because I think I just would have been absolutely exhausted. But it is now 8.20, 8.20 a.m. on Tuesday. I have a full day of work ahead of me. I'm just gonna try and take it as chill as possible because I'm sleepy, <laughs> but I did get a really good night's sleep last night. The hotel was like really comfortable. I slept really well. I think it's just a sheer amount of stuff 
we were doing but I am back from Scotland I have had such a good weekend and I just wanted to wrap up and reflect on the weekend do a little haul because I got a couple of bits I got some books haven't shown you any of that yet obviously we were able to visit some spots from The Last Girl to Die by Helen Fields really glad that I could read and finish this book on the island I think it just added another layer to the enjoyment of this and being able to see the parts that were interacted with I was just pointing things out being like look it's that look it's that unfortunately we didn't get to see the cave that was mentioned in this book I can't remember if I said that in the vlog already but it was really really torrential rain on Sunday and I think it would have made it quite difficult probably a bit unsafe to go to that area as well because it was a walk to get there and it was just yeah the weather was very difficult on Sunday but we pushed through but yeah it was really cool to be able to see all the spots in this book it was fantastic to be able to read this whilst I was out there and I just think it made the experience even better so I just wanted to go through the fantastic weekend I have had and it is all thanks to Visit Scotland obviously I've already shown you Bound this is Rachel Hazel's book Rachel runs the Travelling Bookbinder which is a fantastic fantastic way to learn how to bookbind this book gives 15 different bookbinding projects within its page it is so beautifully laid out. It gives ideas for cover designs, gives tips for how to make the book itself. I loved doing this course so much. The course that we did on Saturday was called Map Love and it was all based around travel and the environment and everything we'd experienced in our trip. It was such a lovely mindful activity. I really, really enjoyed it. I will be using this book to do this again and try and make some notebooks. As I said, I think in the vlog, I really did think it needed all these different supplies and all these different like machinery things, but it really doesn't. Like there are a couple of things you need, but it's very, very minimal, like literally like the needle and the correct thread. So yeah, I had a fantastic time doing this and this is the first book I am hauling in this vlog. Rachel also made us a little goodie bag, which had a couple of things in it that I am definitely gonna be using in my scrapbook for this trip. I'm so excited to do a little scrapbook spread for this. So in this package, Rachel has included this really cute little notebook. I love this. I love the size of it, handbag size, perfect. There's also a really lovely drawing pencil some washi tape that Rachel has made herself. And then in here, there is a little package of supplies that I'm gonna be using for scrapbooking, so I'm very excited about that. There was a lovely little craft shop on the Isle of Iona as well, so I picked up a couple of bits there. I got a postcard, which has got a little bit bent, unfortunately, but this is also for my scrapbook. I really like making scrapbook spreads for days out I've had or trips I've taken, so I'm gonna be doing a double page spread, I think, for Mole. Also in the little craft shop, I got these beautiful stud earrings. These are made by Helen Chalmers. They had such lovely things in the shop, so I really like these ones as well. The book that Rachel gave us was wrapped up in this and I think this will make a really nice background spread for my scrapbook. So I have many, many scrapbook supplies. We went into Tobamori Town to have a look at a couple of the shops on Sunday and there was a really nice, again, a craft shop of different people on the island making different things and I bought a couple of bits. I bought a couple of gift bits in this shop, but I also bought a couple of things for myself. One of those things being this necklace. This is handmade on the Isle of Mull. This is designed by Miss Nomi Designs. So this is a piece of glass that has been found on the beaches of Mull and turned in to this really lovely necklace. I really wanted to get a green one, but the shape of this one I absolutely loved and I actually think this one will be really, really lovely against darker coloured clothing. So I had to get this, it was too pretty and I love the fact that it is all from Mull. I think that's just perfect. I also got these two pairs of earrings from Deerside Crafts. These are beautiful handmade on Mull earrings and I bought one for myself is these ones and a pair for my mum. I love the design of these so much, the little rock stacks. I just think they're really lovely. And then I got this tiny little girly. This is for Ava, my sister. I think she's really, really cute. I think Ava's gonna like her. And this is designed by Camilla Crafts. On the Sunday, we tried to go to the bookshop, but it was shut. So we tried again on Monday morning and it was open. We had about 15 minutes because we had to leave to get our ferry. So it was incredibly tight but we did get a couple of bits and these are the three books that I got. First off, love the bag, of course, also perfect for my scrapbook. Visit Scotland very kindly treated us to a couple of bits in this shop, so I chose to get these three books. The first book I picked up was A Narrow Door by Joanne Harris. I love the cover of this one, the way that we've got kind of rustic look the ivy. I think this one sounds really interesting. I think it's meant to be quite a dark, mysterious type of read. Rebecca Buckfast has achieved what she thought was impossible. She is now the first ever headmistress of St Oswald's School. It doesn't matter how many people she killed to get there, she's now a part of history, but as the new regime takes on the old guard, the ground shifts, and with it the remains of a body are discovered. But Rebecca is here to make her mark. She'll bury the past so deep it will evade her own memory, just like she's done before. Because now she's made it in, she won't let a murder force her out. 
I really like the look of this, but I think that the, the blurbed reviews kind of sold it for me. It's twist following twist, already feels like a classic, engrossing, cunning, sharp, sinister. I think it sounds really cool. I love the tagline on the front, she fought her way in and now nothing can stop her. It sounds really good. It's dark, it's gothic by the sounds of it. I'm excited. There was quite a lot of thrillery books to pick from in this shop, so I was quite happy because I'm definitely very much into my thriller and horror genres at the moment. So I also picked up The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. This is following a woman, Anna Fox. It's been 10 months since she last left her home, 10 months during which she has haunted the rooms of her old New York house, lost in her memories, too terrified to step outside. Anna's lifeline to the real world is her window, where she sits watching her neighbours. When the Russells move in, Anna is instantly drawn to them, a, per a picture-perfect family. They are an echo of the life that was once hers. But one evening, a scream rips across the silence and Anna witnesses something horrifying. Now she must uncover the truth about what really happened. But if she does, will anyone believe her? And can she ever trust herself? It's giving me Hitchcock rear window vibes for sure. Again, the blurbs on the back of this really sold it to me. We have Twisted to the Power of Max. Unput downable, Stephen King says. Ruth Ware says it's a dark, twisty confection. It just it has some really good reviews on it from authors I've enjoyed in the past. Gillian Flynn sound, says astounding, thrilling, amazing. I think this looks really good. And finally, I picked up Hex by Jenny Fargan. I've heard a lot about this one. Didn't realise it was so teeny. I think I saw this when it was out in hardback and just didn't pick it up for some reason. But it looks really interesting and if I can try and get this into my spoof film TBR somehow, I will. This one is set in the 1500s, on the 4th of December in 1591 to be precise. On this, the last night of her life, in a prison cell several floors below Edinburgh High Street's convicted witch, Gilles 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 Duncan receives a mysterious visitor. Iris, who says she comes from future where women are still persecuted for who they are and what they believe. As the hours pass and dawn approaches, Gilles, 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 I don't know, recounts the circumstances of her arrest, brutal torture, confession and trial, while Iris offers support, solace and the tantalising prospect of escape. Hex is a visceral depiction of what happens when a society is consumed by fear and superstition, exploring how the terrible force of a king's violent crusade against ordinary women can still be felt right up to the present day. I think this sounds really interesting, and the fact that it's set in Scotland I feel like makes, makes it a perfect book to have bought for my trip. So that is my haul for the weekend. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog. It's been so lovely. The scenery that we have driven through the nature we've seen, Highland cows just casually walking in front of our car was a pretty amazing moment. The stag that just literally ran across our path, we'd stopped to take photos and this stag just runs across our path, which was just, it was amazing to be in that environment. I live in the countryside, so I am used to being surrounded by nature, but never in that way, in the vastness of it. The highlands of Scotland with the hills and the forests and how much of it you can see it's so open, it's so amazing. When I was at school in English literature, we were told to use the word sublime when something described something that you looked at and made you as a human feel truly small. So an example being standing on the edge of the Grand Canyon would, would make it look very sublime because you realise how tiny you are. Being in the Scottish Highlands, it was sublime. It was absolutely beautiful and I won't forget those views and I would like to go back. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed coming along on this journey with me. Thank you so much to Visit Scotland for putting this all together for Lauren and I. It has been an amazing, amazing trip and everything was so brilliant. We saw so much of the island, being able to go bookbinding, all the beautiful food we've eaten. It's been absolutely gorgeous. I will leave all the details for Visit Scotland down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Comment down below where you are hoping to travel to next, where's next on your travel bucket list. You can also subscribe to see more of my face on your feed and down below you will find my digital shop and also my Patreon where I do lots of extra content. Thank you so much for watching, keep smiling and stay positive.